I think now we should chant Hare Krishna. Um, we were all, of course, young and sadhakas and so forth. This is a book about Bhakti Rasa, but it has some application with regard to our life as sadhakas, and, and it draws me, my memory, to how we, myself, Kashi Ram, uh, Ganapati, Giri Jadava, were just three examples, and they were the first examples of the, of the you know, the, the plan, you know, to have devotees come from other temples and spend a month with me there at the base, at the feet of Kishore Kishori. They will give us the power then to, we'll send you back to your area and you can replicate, you know, and so forth. Um, and uh, and um, as sadhakas, our relationship, our love for one another, it's, this, is a, this is a very endearing story to me that, that, that speaks, I think, to how we felt the kind of brotherhood and sisterhood. I know we're supposed to call ladies mothers, but they were, they were really sisters. <laughs> you know, uh, we were all just brothers and sisters. Many of us were from alternative, most alternative culture, you know. And, um, um, and I never talked to women when I sold books, but I would, I never had a problem talking to women devotees and teaching them how to sell books and, and, and helping them and, and, uh, and, and being as much equally an inspiration to them, uh, if I could be, as to any, uh, any, any, of, any of the men. But anyway, the story. After, um, it, there's, it's twofold. Gunapati Marsh was the, um, was the, he became a sannyasi later, he still is today. He was the uh, accountant. So we would, we would you know, sell the books at the airport, we would come back, and I would have all the devotees, we would open up like a, a cloth, a dhoti, put it on the floor, and everybody would pour all the money in the center. No one could count the money, how much each one counted, and, or how many each book everybody distributed. We just put it all in a pot, and then we, and we collected the quarters and whatever, and the dollars, and then we gave it to Gandhapati Swami, who did the accounting, and I, he might have, must have opened a bank account, and he sent the money to, to the BBT, right? And, um, and, and so um, about three weeks into the month, the, this is the first month at Kishore Kishori's feet uh, that we, uh, this program had been launched, which became the most colorful chapter, I believe, if, or Prakash window section of the Leela of Kishore Kishori that made the Chicago temple as famous or if not more than Los Angeles and and New York, <laughs> who had been the big cities, you know, and and, and 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 had many more devotees and so on and so forth. This is what made Kishore Kishore famous: is this uh, uh, airport, you know, book distribution, Leela, and, and rightfully so, because it, we'll go on, we'll see further how that's the case. But um, with regard to this feeling that we had, kind of the brotherhood, sisterhood, and so forth. Um, when uh, after about three weeks of being together, Gunapati Swami took the liberty, without speaking to me, to spend a fair amount of the money uh, other than on printing books and sending it to Ramaswar. Again, we were living out of these book bags. We didn't bought, didn't, never bought anything for ourselves. You know, I mean, you had to get toothpaste, but I mean, that the, the idea of you know. Um, spending money on yourself or something other than book distribution that just didn't uh wasn't on the radar hmm? and so he had it became apparent that he had spent some money and a fair amount on something else and that's why i said what's what's this about you know hmm? and and then he said well we bought this and brought it out this this uh, uh well you know he told me i should say we bought a, a new plate for Kishore Kishori, you know, dining plate, a silver plate. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, that's a nice thing to do, you know, but I mean, he didn't even tell me about it, he didn't even ask me, you know, and, and uh, uh, so, you know, and he said, well, that was, you know, the other part of it. The reason we did it is because we wanted to give their old plate to you. I mean, <laughs> it's very beautiful how they felt. You know, I mean, I wasn't asking for any kind of 
you know, recognition or distinction from them. We were all just brothers doing this, you know, together, giving our all in all. Yeah, I was the leader, you know, but I was just the leader by my example, if you could follow it, you know, I was setting a certain pace. We'll get up at this time, we'll, you know, and, and so forth. Um, uh, and so they, 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 that's how they felt. They wanted to, you know, they, they wanted to give Kishore Kishore's remnant plate to me as a dining plate. I was, I wept. I thought how embarrassing this is, you know, how, how endearing, you know, that they felt like this about me, you know, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's just an example of, uh, the kind of love and camaraderie that we had, which was so much part of our, our success. And then when, and then when it was about a week later or so, I'm still reeling from this when it was time for them to leave. And then they all approached me again. And they said, we know we had a, a suggestion for the party, how it could have been maybe improved. And I said, well, you know, you know, what's that, you know? And they said, well, you know, originally the plan was you would have two or three or whatever, you know, small number of devotees come here and be trained and go back to their base. But we were thinking, you need a permanent party of two or three men. And then that party will train others who come hmm, and go back. And they wanted to stay, <laughs> to stay with me. <laughs> they, we didn't want to, you know, I didn't want them to leave, but I thought, well, that's the program, you know. And so, um, but they, they told me that, you know, it was very, it was very, De endearing and it's like i say it's like within the realm of sadhana this is the sanchari bhav you know they loved me i love them and together that augmented our love for Prabhupada and dedication to him and our love for kishore kishore of course they had they had to negotiate with their temple presidents why they weren't coming back <laughs> uh, and they were successful in doing that uh somehow or other so i guess for sure, for sure, he wanted me to have a permanent party, and then we started, you know, inviting others and um, for the next round. And as this was going on, of course, um, the plan started to unfold, and the success in Chicago, which was again, as I mentioned earlier, a legally a place to legally distribute books, where it was not yet established by law that you could do that in other other airports. Like dominoes, they began to fall in the Los Angeles airport, this airport, that, Kennedy airport, uh, Cleveland airport, you, you, you name it. There must have been at least a, a dozen of them in major cities that uh, Miami opened one after another following the, the, the case. I think that maybe, maybe Los Angeles was the first uh, case and Chicago was a precedent. It was already legal. Um, and so like it was all coming like, like you know, there we were. This was our base at the feet of Kishore Kishori, and 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 in my my perspective, they made all of that possible, and they 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 um, and as such, this particular very colorful leela of theirs, if you will, uh, book distribution at the at the Chicago airport is what made the Chicago Temple famous amongst the amongst all of the all of the devotees and and, and, and and later on of course the over the years this went on for years the leadership changed Sri Govinda and Sri Lanka they they moved on to some other service I forget what was the reason behind that but Uttama Sloka from Canada became the president and then then in, in, the, in the final hour so to speak of competition between now Los Angeles and New York and Chicago with regard to book distribution which Ms. Logan could tell the story better than me. Um, the, the, the devotees in Chicago, he had a conversation with Ramaswar after a big marathon who had sold, you know, the most books and so forth. Ramaswar said, we said this many, this many, this many in, in Los Angeles. And I think Uta Ms. Logan said, wow, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot, that's a lot. And he led Ramaswar to believe that, that Los Angeles had, had been triumphant. And then he said, but here, you know, <laughs> he floored Ramaswar by telling him that we had, you know, done more books in, in Chicago at that time. So the crown uh, goes to the goes to the beautiful couple, Kishore Kishori, with regard to book distribution. I believe that you know this particular deity, hmm, Kishore Kishori, that they were particularly uh, you know uh, involved in more than any other deity in the world, empowering hmm, and um, if not conceiving of and responding 
to a, a petition to a, a, a simple, uh, humble uh, brahmachari. We may put it into a spiritual trance. Please give us the power to, either to take advantage of what's going on here in a small way, in, 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 in a large way. They responded to that. They made it all, made it all possible. I think now we should sign Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.